Hi Water Signs, this is Terribly Accurate. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new, welcome. I hope you come back. If you are a returning subscriber or you've just seen my videos before, thanks so much for your likes, shares, comments, all of that. I apologize for the dirty mirror and the not made bed, but um, I wanted to get these out to you quickly. The energies this week have been kind of crazy, kind of weird, and so um, it was just kind of important that I put these out for uh, namely the weekend, but the energies are of this reading are going from the 22nd to the 29th. So we'll just get started right away uh, with our stop, drop, and roll reading. I asked a couple hours ago on Facebook what you guys want, and um, this one over just by a little bit, but uh, this is the kind of reading that you guys wanted. So here we go. What do water signs need to stop doing? What is it that water signs need to stop doing this week? The Ace of Pentacles. What do they need to drop from their lives? The Queen of Swords. And what do you need to roll with? And we have the Three of Wands in reverse. So what do you need to stop doing? Um, whatever kind of idea you have pertaining to money or stability um, is maybe not the best idea. You see all of this gray here? It's telling you stop rethink um particularly if it's like regarding a um, home renovation idea you want to investigate that further it might not be the best investment for you um so think about that any new ideas or um, intentions that you have surrounding like your home or like a car anything that's like part of your day-to-day -day life or your money specifically maybe your career um stop and think a little bit because it might not go as planned. What do you need to drop from your life? Now, the Queen of Swords here can either be your attitude or it can be an actual person in your life. Now, this person is um, sometimes kind of a bee. They've been there, done that. They've seen and heard everything. Um, they have a lot of life experience, but therefore they can be like a little bit hard, you know, like, they're a little untrusting. They're a little suspicious sometimes. Um, but they're a good communicator, and they'll definitely let you know. Um, but you might have to drop someone like that from your life because maybe they're too negative. They might be reaching out to you, and you just they might, like, damper your ha happiness this week. Um, or if you're being like that, try to be more open-hearted. Try to... Um, feel a little bit more. You know, you're a water sign, so you typically do feel things emotionally, um, like pretty deeply, but maybe for some reason you've taken this on to protect your heart, um, and that's not the best thing for you right now. Uh, what do you need to roll with? So when this card is this way, you know, it's about trying to decide whether or not you want to face the challenges that you have to, kind of taking a risk, but when it's upside down like this, it's like kind of staying put, um, being happy with what you have, appreciating what's there. And so um, that's a good energy to roll with. You know, just be thankful uh, for what you have, that things are stable, um, that there's things to be happy and excited about. And that's your message for the week. So until next time, see you. Mwah.